How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk to you today about a company that I've had so many people ask me about. Uh, I think this is the most requested company over the weekend, maybe with the exception uh, exception of CPSH. But this one is one that is very interesting because ARK Invest has increased their position a lot. It's a 5G play. I'll break it down because honestly, I was looking for other videos on it. I saw some other videos on it, uh, some that were helpful, but a lot of them I just had more questions on. Like it did not answer my questions on the company and I'm just gonna give you everything that I've researched and I'll be honest, I'm putting this up on my second channel first. So uh, if you saw it there or if you're watching it there, awesome. If you're watching it on my main channel, I'll probably put this up on my main channel one day later. If you're watching it on the main channel, definitely go subscribe to the second channel too. It's just my financial friend too. I don't typically do this. I've never done it before, I don't think, but circumstances happened where I had to post it on a different channel. So definitely check out that second channel. Also, if you guys don't mind hitting the like button and subscribing, I really appreciate that no matter what channel you're on. And there is a link down there to the Patreon. So in the Patreon, we have 3,800 people. I'll, uh, I'll post this to there so that everyone can see it there too. But uh, I tell them what I buy and sell. We have 3,800 other people in there. So it's a good time. A lot of people are trying to make money all the time. There's always someone in there. There's always hundreds of people in there if you have any questions. So definitely check that out down below. And there's a link down there to Webull. If you want some free stock, you can check out the link. Just deposit $100 and you'll get some free money. And it will be enough to take my girlfriend out and uh, I can take her to get something to eat. So I appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. And let's get into it. So the company that we're talking about today is in the Israeli or Israel Innovation Fund. So this is one of their seven funds on ARK Invest. Honestly, I had not looked into this one too much because I just I didn't understand why they had it. So this, this fund aims to provide targeted exposure to Israeli companies at the forefront of innovation across healthcare, manufacturing, communications, information, technology. I've still been trying to find exactly why they believe that Israel has such a leg up or is, is that innovative that they want a whole fund dedicated to them. Again, I went through a bunch of podcasts. I went through different articles. I don't know why they are so big on this. I've heard some people say that they're on the cutting edge of innovation over in this area of the world. The countries around them are fighting and they're really uh, they're really moving forward in a very quick fashion and have a lot of good technology. So uh, I think that is probably the explanation. Now, just looking at their fund, it's a very small fund. The ticker is IZRL. There's not a lot of money in this fund compared to some of their other ones. But if you've noticed, CRNT has made its way to the second position. And uh, this is not tracked on a lot of the ARK Invest trackers that I've seen. But from what I've seen in other videos, people are saying that this has tripled. Their position has tripled over the last two, three, four months. So they continuously are throwing more money in this. This is not, again, showing up on any of my trackers, so I can't show this or confirm it, but there's something to take into account. They have about $5 million, which is almost 4% of the portfolio. Now, this company recently moved up, and I think it's, from what I've heard, it's for two different reasons. I believe ARK Invest bought a significant portion. This was a penny stock, just sitting around $2.70. It moved up a little bit, and then... You can see last Friday, it jumped up a lot. You can see 54% and then 15% aftermarket pretty much jumped up 70%. One of the other reasons I think it moved up was that Needham moved up their price target to $3.75 from $3.25. Now, I think this mixed with the fact that ARK Invest had already bought it. Maybe some people all saw this at the same time and then the stock flew up. So they were saying they just had a very small upside and then people jumped in because it said 20 to 25% upside. So what do they actually do? Well, they're in a couple different industries. They're in mobile and telecom. They're in maritime. They're in public safety. They're regional carriers and ISPs. They're in utilities. What they do is they're a 5G play. So they say that they're the number one wireless hauling specialist position to lead in a growing market. So That doesn't make a lot of sense to me uh, at first glance. And I'll break down what this actually means here. They, They say that they're an innovative market leader in the 5G and 4G network movement. They have 2,000 customers. They have 1 million systems deployed. 
They have over a thousand employees globally. They have critical technology for 4G and 5G networks. They're in wireless hauling, an alternative to fiber, fiber development. Wireless hauling, this is not the same thing as fiber. This is kind of the two ways as I understand it. And I could be wrong because this is not my area of expertise, but uh, wireless backhaul is easy to deploy, cost efficient, and can provide high capacity connectivity, multiple GP or GBPSs, and even 10 gigabytes per second. Wireline fiber backhaul, on the other hand, can provide practically endless capacity, but requires an investment. So that is what people talk about, I believe, when they talk about how expensive it is for like for these different 5G plays that they're going to have to build out this network. It sounds like wireless backhauling is just a more efficient, but probably less quality version just of growing the 5g network now i could be wrong so you know tell me in the comments below if i am wrong i'd like to understand this a little bit more but that's how i understand it one is the quick and easy and cheaper route and then one it takes a little bit more time but it's probably better quality in the end now just going back they work with a lot of clients already so you can see some of their larger clients here now, some ones that I know right off the bat, AT&T, T-Mobile, those are, I think, the two biggest on this list and the most well-known. But, you know, a lot of these could be well-known in other countries or other areas of the world. Now, just looking at their financials, they've taken a big hit from the Roni Rona. So you can see their non-GAAP net income has decreased a lot. You can also see their revenue back and forth a little bit. Now, they said that 2019 was negatively impacted by lower revenue from India and one-time items. And then they say that the pandemic was the was what caused them to go down this year was what's really affecting them now. So that is something to take into account. Their cash and cash equivalents in around 29 million, short-term loans around 18 million. They have a lot of inventory right now too. You know, they say that they do have a, a credit line that was increased recently too. So you can take a little bit more look into their financials if you'd like. So they also gave their their third quarter results recently. I mean, this was back in November. Their next quarter results, their fourth quarter results will be released, I believe, on February 8 before the market opens. They had a strong quarter, they say, with $71 million in revenue or so. Now, this is almost back to where they were before the pandemic last year. Uh, but again, they had a down year last year. So they're coming back a little bit, but I'm not sure exactly why this is the number one, number two holding in their ETF. I'll just be straight up about it. I hold a couple 5G plays, a couple of these tech plays. Uh, I hold Qualcomm right now, which is the main one. And then I hold a couple that I guess you could consider kind of sub 5G plays, but uh, not anything directly with 5G. So CRNT is a, a pure play in 5G, and I'm not exactly sure why they're so bullish on this one. Maybe it's just because they need companies here. I'm not sure. I would love to hear why you guys think that they're so bullish because I, I'll be honest, I just don't see it. And maybe it's that it was at a discount uh, because of their troubles recently. If we look at their five year, they, from what I can see here, they have come down a decent amount since. Uh, 2012 before that they were kind of a major player so yeah in 2019 they fell but now they're right back where they were so I'm not sure I see what all the hype is about I could be wrong uh, a lot of the companies that ARK Invest invest in do really well but in the end you only have so much capital so you have to figure out where to put it where to best put it uh, so I think that is something to take into consideration now, I have a video coming out on a penny stock on my main channel that I'm going to invest a lot more in. Uh, that's going to come out on Tuesday. So I'm not sure if this is going to be released on the main channel before that or after that. But if you're seeing this on the second channel, uh, be on the lookout for that on the main channel. So thank you guys for that. I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. I'm really curious what you guys think and what I'm missing here because I'm sure there's something I'm missing. I just can't find it. <laughs> so thank you guys i appreciate it if you guys want to see more videos i'll put them up on the end screen uh, some recent videos that i've done if you guys want to check out the patreon definitely check that out check out weeble too i appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next video bye